Hello guys and welcome to uh, yet another Doctor Who book review and this time I'm looking at the fourth Doctor story written by uh, Terence Sticks, uh, well the Target novel um, and it is The Talons of Wang Chirang based off uh, the actual television story which was written by the legend that is Robert Holmes. Um, so yes, this is probably one of my favourite Doctor Who books that I've read. Um, didn't really take me that long to read, I'd say about nine days, um, because that was, uh, I, could, I mean, I probably could have read it in three days because um, I was doing other things uh, when I was on holiday as I took this with me, and it was a great read. I really enjoyed it. Um, so the cover, we've got uh, Tom Baker, uh, the rat, and the Vantrodicus dummy, Mr. Sin. Um, we've got Doctor Who and the... Uh, little target uh, symbol there. Um, so yeah, uh, let's look at the spine. As you can see, it's quite battered as I did get it from a charity shop um, in a nearby uh, town centre. And so here's the rather long blurb, um, which I shall read to you uh, now. Uh, I'll just move the camera into the centre there. Stepping out of the TARDIS in Victorian London, Leela and the Doctor are confronted by a menacing, diabolic, uh, diabolical horrors shrouded within the swirling London fog. A man's death cry, an attack by Chinese Tong hatchmen, giant rats roaming the sewers, young women and mysteriously disappearing. The hideously deformed Magnus Greel, conducting a desperate search for the lost time cabinet, is the inst instigator of all this evil. Posing as the Chinese god, Wang Chiang Greel uses the crafty Chang and the midget mannequin Mr. Sin to achieve his terrifying objectives. The Doctor must use uh, all his skill, energy and intelligence to escape the talons of Wang Chiang. <laughs> that was my god-awful laugh. Um, and so here we have some prices, or I should say original prices, so in the UK it was 60p. I actually got this for about two quid, yeah. I got this for two pound in a charity shop, so whether or not that's a rip-off, I don't know. Um, compared to its original price, it probably is. Um, so yeah, my thoughts on the story as a whole. Um, a lot of people like this story, and uh, the television... Um, a lot of people like the television story, and I can see why, because it's one of Tom Baker's best, I think. Um, there are a lot of good Tom Baker stories. Um, it's kind of hard to decide which one of us is his actual best. Um, I mean, if you've got any particular favourite Tom Bakers you want to share, then please uh, comment down below and tell me your f uh, favourite Tom Baker stories. Um, and maybe this might be in your list, because if you haven't seen it, it's one that I do recommend you watch. And if you're interested in books, and Doctor Who books especially, then this will be the one for you. Um, it's clearly imaginable. You can imagine the scenes in your head, a bit like any other Target book. Um, and I know I said in my Remem Remem uh, Remembrance of the Daleks book review that the problem I find with... Um, in target novelizations, and if I've seen the story, I know what's going to happen, so that's why I don't really enjoy it as much. But uh, here, um, I enjoy it um, despite its, you know, predictable um, tendencies, and um, it probably won't take away your enjoyment from Tal uh, Doctor Who and the Talents of Wang Jiang. Um, so Terence Sticks has written a really good book, um, a book that I highly recommend. Uh, for you to go out and hunt and find and buy um, because it's one that I um, I loved reading. Um, I When I was on holiday, I just could not stop reading it. Um, I took this with me to Cyprus. Uh, no, was it? Or it might have been Hawaii, actually. I took this with me to Hawaii and I was reading it practically every day. It was that good. Um, I started it a couple of days uh, before I went on holiday and I just kept on reading and it was uh, a fantastic book. I cannot recommend I mean, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because if you've read it, um, you may say the same or you may give it a 9 or whatever rating you choose to give it. 
Um, but uh, I don't know that many people who don't like the story. In fact, I don't know anybody who doesn't like the story. Um, so if you don't like it, then obviously that's your opinion. But um, I think most people actually do like the story because uh, it's really, really, really good. And the book itself is fantastic. So thanks for watching my review. Uh, 10 out of 10 for this book. And um, so, yeah. Uh, cheers for watching, guys. And uh, see you later.